Hello everyone and welcome back to the Belgian Beer Brothers channel. Cedric here in Antwerp with a brand new brew review. And today we are returning to the Brasserie du Pays Flamand in the north of France. Uh, yeah, we're gonna taste another one of their Anostique series. This time the Anostique Blonde, uh, or Anostique Blonde because it's the same in English. Um, what can I say about this beer? Not that much actually. Um, they have won several awards. I do believe they won like eight or nine awards worldwide um, in the past six years or so. Um, this is a strong blonde, an 8% ABV. Um, yeah, I am very curious about this. Now, um, for more info about the brewery or about uh, the other beers, I kindly refer you guys to these other videos. But let's dive right in. Let's make this a rather short video and just go about the tasting. The packaging is pretty much the same as the other ones, uh, but just in green instead of yellow or orange. Lovely branded bottle cap again with the line and the stirring stick. And you guys see that I have switched around the decorum again. Uh, yeah, work in progress. Some nice carbonation there. I see a bunch of yeast at the bottom of the bottle. So let's do this rather carefully. Ooh, that looks quite different than what I imagined. Now that is quite the lovely pour, if I say so myself. I've managed to keep most of the yeast in the bottle. There we go. This is in fact quite surprising. Uh, well, I did put some yeast in the glass and it is rather hazy. Um, but the surprising part here is that this beer is a lot more copper colored, a lot more gold, a lot more orange than I expected um, because it has won awards in the categories uh, Belgian style, uh, even Belgian triple, but it's not really a triple. Um, it has won awards in the blonde and uh, uh, yeah, some different styles actually, but one of the styles that this won an award in is pale ale. And this is all but pale. It's beautiful uh, nonetheless but not necessarily pale ale. I would have expected this a lot paler and a lot uh, yellower, a lot clearer as well. But like I said, nonetheless, a absolutely beautiful color. Some nice copper blonde, uh, yeah, nearing the orange, some off-white foam with this nice uh, orange glow on top of it, which I really like. Oh, um, lovely smell as well. So expectations are high for this one. Um, rather yeasty, a bit uh, bready even, but also very, very refreshing. A bit hoppy, a bit citrusy. Uh, yeah, a bit fruity, but mainly citrus actually. That is a lovely combination as well. Some bready yeast and, and those citrus notes. Uh, yeah, beautiful. So let's have a taste. Cheers. Ooh. Yeah. Right off the bat, um, I can taste the 8% in this one. This is indeed a strong blonde. Uh, and just like with our Duval friends, um, this is rather heavily carbonated, um, which boosts the booziness, which boosts the ethanol flavors. Um, but it absolutely works in this beer. Now, what else do I get? I do get a nice round full creamy mouthfeel uh, some lovely body on this beer um, 
which is always nice in heavier beers to get a lot of body. Uh, it reminds you that you're drinking a heavy beer. Uh, so no surprises there. And something that always uh, boggles my, my mind, um, it is, I'm not gonna say sweet, it's not sweet. This is a bit malty, this is a bit fruity, but also very bone dry and very uh, bitter. Um, really caters to the side of the tongues here, uh, to the sides of, of the tongue here. Um, very thirst quenching as well. Absolutely refreshing. The combination of that dry bitter component with those citrusy notes, because in the taste and the flavor, there's also a lot of citrus. Um, that absolutely works. Uh, yeah, this beer screams good weather. Yeah, this is absolutely a beer made for beach bars or uh, sunny mountain tops. Uh, I'd even see me drinking this while going skiing instead of wise beer or something like that. Um, yeah, beautiful beer. I'm very, very pleasantly surprised. Um, now, I must say that um, Brasserie du Pays Flamand hasn't let me down yet. Um, as you can see in the other videos, uh, I like the IPA. I very much like the Saison. I absolutely love this one as well. So, yeah, two thumbs up for these guys. Uh, Great discovery. And even when I aerate the, um, the sips that I take, it just boosts the aroma. It just uh, brings out the hoppiness in there. Um, so when I aerate, the beer, I get a, lit, a, a little bit less citrus, uh, but a lot more of the hop aroma, a lot more bitterness as well. Uh, like I said, bone dry. Um, yeah, you could compare this to a very, very strong saison, 8% uh, dry, thirst quenching. Um, yeah, absolutely love this. And I am quite sure that uh, if I go back to France, uh, I am gonna be on the lookout for this beer. Uh, it's quite readily available, uh, quite easy to get. Um, I even think that I'm gonna see these guys at the Horeca Expo in Ghent next month. So I might even place an order to get it here. Okay, the verdict. Um, well, I think that you guys already know this, um, but yeah, I kind of like it. <laughs> um, overall, beautiful color, nice head of foam, very dense foam as well, by the way, uh, a bit sticky even, uh, very good qualities in, in foam, in, in beer heads. Um, for the scent, very refreshing. It actually made my mouth water. So yeah, job well done. Um, as for the taste, like I said, bone dry, thirst quenching, a bit fruity, a bit citrusy. That is one hell of a lovely combination. Um, and I know that this is all subjective, but I absolutely love this flavor palette. Uh, this profile absolutely suits me uh, and my needs and my wants. So I think that I am looking at a easily a 425 here, which for me, for a blonde beer, a strong blonde beer is very rare. I think the only strong blonde or überhaupt blonde beer that I gave a four plus rating to was the Cuvée van de Kaiser Blonde 2013 by Het Anker. Um, so yeah. Unique, uh, 425 at least, I might even change my mind to 450. Um, nonetheless, beautiful beer, uh, Yeah, as usual. If you guys can get your hands on one of these, 
please do so, do yourself a favor. And also, as usual, if you like this video, let me know, hit the thumbs up, uh, leave something down in the comments. If you have any questions or remarks, I'll be glad to answer them. Um, if you want to see more, hit subscribe and the bell icon. You'll be the first to know whenever I upload something, which should be every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 6 p.m. And if you want to support me and this channel, uh, just share one of the videos, spread the word, grow the community and I'll see you guys in the next video, which should be uh, Monday, I guess. Cheers, you guys.